Okay. All right. Hey, baby. Hi. Hi. Have you been How here before, you? too? No, it's my first time. I love I, it. I watched your once last week, and I was like, I should give a shot. Are you watching <laughs> what you just got put on last week? Yeah, well, I saw it, and, like, my friend sent it to me. He was like, you you, you might be good for this. You should try. Okay. And I was like, oh. and I, I, I love it. So, well, yes. They say you look like Drake. Oh, Starting from the bottom, now we here. Starting from the bottom, now the whole team here. <laughs> Starting from the bottom, now we here. Baby, you my everything. You all I ever want. Zero to 100 real quick. Okay. <laughs> you do look like Drake. I can see it. Yeah, I, I changed my haircut so I wouldn't look as much, but I don't think I can help it. Do you yeah. get it a lot? Yes. I'm from Brazil, so whenever I go out, if I don't open my mouth, <laughs> they think I'm Canadian. <laughs> really? Yeah. I can see it. So what's your name, love? Tiago. Tiago. Yeah. And you're from Brazil. Where do you live, though? I live in Atlanta. Atlanta. How old are you, Tiago? I'm 31. 31. What do you do for a living? I am an event producer. So mm -hmm. me and four friends, we have an event company. And we produce events focused on queer people of color. OK. Uh, are you event. queer? Yes, I'm gay. Okay, you're yes. gay. Okay. Can you tell me what's the difference between queer and gay? Is it the same? Um, queer is more in the spectrum um, of, of not being straight. So I could be pan, non-binary, or I just don't identify with only one um, um, n gender. Um, gay is because I am a cis man and I like men, not necessarily just queer so i could be queer and gay it really depends on how you you want to call yourself okay fair enough um so do you do you have any kids no no kids no kids. all right let's do it tiago bka drake uh from brazil but lives in atl yes. 31 event producer oh, what's your zodiac sign i'm a taurus yes taurus. april 23rd that's what's up taurus season you know i think they told me it's almost over i'm sad yeah uh, <laughs> but uh what kind of man are you looking for um someone who's willing um who's who's i think someone who is family oriented um adventurous and um ambitious i think those are things that i'm looking for okay what are some deal breakers? If, if you don't want kids is a deal breaker to me. Okay. Um, someone aggressive is a deal breaker to me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very, I'm, I'm, a, I'm easygoing and I'm very charismatic. Also in my line of work, we, I deal with people a lot. So being aggressive is not something that I'm really trying to deal with. You know. Not aggressive. Okay. Does he have to be in the ATL? No. No, I travel a lot for work. I produce events, um, like all over. So, I, I, I'm not from America. So anywhere can be home. I can make home anywhere. Okay. Um, How long have you been in America for? So I, I've, I've lived here. I did elementary, middle school here. Okay. I did higher education in Brazil. My, um my bachelor's and my master's. Then I moved back five years ago. Yeah. And I moved to ATL um, 10 months ago. Okay. For, so I can expand operations for my company yet. Okay, fair enough. All right, does the guy have to make a certain amount of money? No, I, 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 I don't believe in that. At least in the LGBT community, I, don't, I think we're all under construction. Um, we all go through a lot and I think it's very different for us. We are self-made most of the time. We take too, we take long time to get where um, some people take less, I guess. So no, I, I as long as you can hold your own, I think, I think that's enough for me. And then we can build together. And then you can build together. All right, let's do the Kendra cam. Okay. <laughs> Someone said if Drake and Ricky Martin had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Drake. Oh, my God. That's kind of scary. 
I hear that so often. When you smile like, and laugh, I oh my god, that's kind of scary. Okay, so Diego, when was your last relationship? Um, three, three years ago. Three years ago. Okay, yeah. you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? A few months. A few months. Like maybe two, three. Yeah. Okay. Why do you think you're single, Diego? Um, I never pursued my love life. Um, I always just focused on being, trying to find my own, um, my own self and doing and going to school. I paid for all my school. I did, you know, I did all of those things by myself. So, and then moving to another country again. So this moving back and forth, um, just wasn't, I wasn't in the place where I could accommodate the relationship. Okay. And now I feel that I'm settled and I'm ready to, to, to put energy into it. You're ready to put energy into it. Um, and what are three flaws you think you might have? I, I can be stubborn. I'm very clingy. That could be a bad thing, I guess. What's clingy mean? Clingy? Uh, I, I'm sorry. It could be my accent. Sorry. It cl cl can you say it? Is it clingy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stubborn is a part of a tourist trait. I'm very stubborn. Yeah, I can be very stubborn. Like if I decide something in my head, um, I most likely will do it. <laughs> but I am aware of that. So if as long as you're good in communicating, I'll be. I, I'm a good listener. Yeah. You're a good listener. Okay. I'm not a fighter, uh, but I'll fight for love. Yes. Okay. You fight for love. Yeah. Um, and why would uh, what's the age range you would do, Diego? You're 31. So older than me, maybe from my age up to 45. Okay, older is a preference. And um, why do you? Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm a great partner. I'm nurturing. Um, I love cooking. I love taking care. Um, I'm very romantic, and and also, I don't, I don't require you to be what I give. I think I will accept what you're able to give, and and I'm very understanding. So um, I can meet you where you are, as long as you also understand that I might give you more, and that's fine. <laughs> okay, you might give more, but that's fine. Let's do it. Um, I don't think I asked you this question. You don't have to answer it. But when was the last time you was intimate with someone? Oh. That you you asked, but it was like around two months ago. Oh, I yeah. did ask. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry. I guess I forgot, child. No, that's. Let's do it. Um, I asked you why would a guy be lucky to be with you already, right? That was the last question I yeah. asked you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do. It. How could the guy reach out to you? Um, through Instagram is just easier. You can also just go through my page, see yeah. if you like the vibe. Give it. Give. Say your Instagram name for the people. So it's T it's Pego P E G O underscore. T H I A G O. T H so Pego. I A G O. All right, Diego. I enjoyed talking to you. Yeah, it was my started from pleasure. the started from the bottom. Now we're here. Started from by a lower. Nice for what? Uh, I'm trying to think of all the Drake songs I love. Um, um, why can't I think of the chorus to "Nice for What"? I can't I, think. I can't. I I don't know lyrics uh, like that in English, so I don't even try. I'll dance though. I'll dance. You'll dance. I'm a dancer. Yeah. I like yes. you better than the real Drake. The real Drake got me kicked out of VIP one time. Oh, I'll give you up VIP on my events. Is that? Oh, uh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> yes. Let me give the back. Okay, but let me give the backstory to why he got me kicked out. I will say he did it very smooth, and I will say I was kind of on a group. Okay, here's the deal. We was at a party, uh -huh. and you know I'm always around celebrities, but there are different tiers of celebrities and drake is a different tier and i was literally walking out of a it was a celebrity party but i was walking out of one cabana and as i was walking out drake was walking by so i just okay. like had perfect timing so i was walking with him to his vip section and then my goofy ass once i got into the vip section uh -huh. i should have just been cool but i was like you know drake can you take a picture hey. and he was like nah i'm not doing pictures and then, this is how smooth he was with it, though. He talked to his man, because I watched the whole play. He talked to his man. <laughs> then the man talked to the security. 
And then the security looked at me, and I already understood what the I already understood what you were it was. watching your own movie. Yeah, <laughs> I already understood what it was. So, so it was he didn't do an embarrassing. So I guess I should be gracious that he got me removed without embarrassing me. But I never forget that. That is a plus. That is a plus. <laughs> Where was this? It was in LA. It was okay. at a Halloween party. Um, not this past Halloween, the year before. Okay. Well, right. not 20, we're 2023, so not 2022, 20. 2021. Okay, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, Drake don't put me out of the shit, child. But I forgive you, Greg. I, I understand. I don't get mad because I do know that certain times celebrities just want to be and they don't want pictures. And so I didn't, I wasn't offended, but I ain't forget either. At least he was discreet about it, you know? Yeah, I mean, like I he said, he like, it. take her out. Yeah, I, I saw the whole play. He went, his guy went to security, and security just looked at me. I said, All right, I, I'm, I'm gonna go. I got you. Yeah, I, bye bye. Enough bye -bye. of that story. Diego, keep me posted how it goes, babe. Okay, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, boo. Um,